in today's tutorial we will learn all the available features of list which is provided by the microsoft excel for a efficient list format we need to have a header if any of you have a question that can we work without a header yes you can work without a header but with a header it's easy to use the excel tools for your list next thing you need to remember when working with the list you cannot have a empty row if you have a empty row the excel will consider these two as a different list let me show you how click on any cell click on filter this is excel recognizing this row as a header let's click on the lower part again filter you see the header is changed excel recognize this row as a header that's why you cannot have a empty row let's talk about sorting suppose you want to sort your list with the last name of your employee in ascendant order for that click on any cell of the last name then go to data there you will find sort and filter from there you will see sort in ascendant order and descendant order let's click on ascendant order as you can see that our list is now sorted by the last name in ascendant order now suppose you want to sort your list not only by the last name but also by the first name or multiple values for that go to data then the big sort button click on this here it's showing that our list is sorted by the last name ascendant order by the value click on add label then select the column that you want to sort after the last name first name ascendant order you may not find the difference here but if you search for the same last name like this one you will see that the first name is arranged in ascendant order now for information the maximum limit of level is 64 at least i have no idea that who will use this 64 level of sorting click on the little arrows you can see here to find the sheet by 2015 now suppose you want to sort your list by the month january february march and april so select one of the cells click on ascendant sort but this is not the result we want so what can we do here what's the solution come to big sort button come to order then click on the drop down then custom list here you can add your own list like and click on add but for months excel is already provided us with the list of their own click on ok now we have our list sorted by the month let's talk about the filter how could you use the filter on a list to use a filter same go to data tab then click on filter when you see those little drop down arrows that means the filter is applied on those columns suppose you want only the results from june and december just click on here uncheck everything i see no december here suppose we need january and march click on ok same for other tabs too click on buyer we don't need all buyers we only need these two buyers now if you want to go back to the initial list come to this clear button beside the filter done let's come to our subtotal tab sort our product 
Now, suppose you want the total of chocolate chocolate chips, freeze brownie, a strawberry. But for that there is one way is to manually get the subtotal like like inserting a row then select them go to formula and auto sum but this is a hassle we want to have the result automatically from our list for that there is a very useful tool in excel for subtotals come to data then the right side you will find subtotal click on it the first one is according to which column we need the subtotal for we need subtotal for the product column then which function we need minimum maximum average we need the summation summation of what summation of sales then click on ok now you see that we have the subtotal of choco choco chips fresh brownie strawberry and if you go to the last row you, we also have a grand total if you come to the left side of the screen you will see three new buttons first one will show you the grand total second one will show you all of the subtotals plus grand total and the third one is everything and you can also toggle the details on and off like this. Let's go back to our first sheet, employee records. Let's convert our list to a table. If you ask why, suppose you want to design these rows. You need to do it manually. Also, if you sort this now, wow, the style is gone they are a different place suppose you want to know the number of rows displaying in our sheet so come to the last row count so we have 53 rows now what will happen if we filter this but where did our total go the total is here but still it's showing total number 53 but we have three rows only so the result should be three for this kind of reasons also for styling your list the solution is to convert your list to a table so how to do that Control a select your data then come to home tab format as table you see it made it very easy for you to style your table too click on the style you want then press on ok now again if we want the total of our row just click on total row at the last we will find the number of total rows is 53 let's do the same thing again click on location select you see now it automatically changed now now if you ask that how could we insert a new data here because the total is immediately after the last row you see there is a little dot at the right bottom corner of the total click and drag it now we have a space for our new data entry suppose we need to remove all of the duplicates from the employee ID at first we see that how many duplicate IDs do we have select all the IDs control shift down arrow come to your home tab then conditional formatting highlight sales and rules duplicate values click ok so this is the way to find the duplicate values to remove the duplicates go to data tab then you will find remove duplicates we can select, select everything because people can have same last name same first name let's remove all the duplicates for employee ID and email ID 
click OK. You see that we had four duplicates. Now there is no red marking. That means that means our list do not have any more duplicates. Now only left is list function, and this tutorial is getting longer. So I will make another tutorial for that.